You told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I. In today's video, we are unpacking from a road trip and just getting our house back in order before we have to go back to work. So this video is packed with cleaning, organizing, a little bit of food prep and loads and loads of laundry. So if you are looking for some extra motivation to clean your house, to get things organized, you definitely came to the right place. And as you can see, things were simply dumped from the car into the living area. That's typically how we do things. We just pile them up and then we just tackle the mess we had in front of us. So let me know in the comments, how do you unpack? Do you like to unpack as soon as you get back? Do you kind of spread it out over the next few days? Are you a procrastinator and likes to get to it? When you get to it, let me know. I am definitely the type of person that likes to unpack right away. I am always looking forward to actually getting things back in order and getting back into our routine. We had a lot and loads of fun when we were on a trip, but I am always looking forward to kind of getting back into the routine and just starting fresh because after vacation you are typically more relaxed more energetic and just ready to get back into the swing of things. One of the things that I noticed is definitely helping me with the unpacking is when I got those organizers, those cubes to separate the clothes. I showed that in my previous video when I was actually packing. This is the first time we got them and they made it super easy for me to stay organized when we were there because everybody's clothes were separated. Everybody knew that those were the clean clothes. We had separate bag for the dirty clothes and it made it super easy to unpack that luggage because I immediately knew what was clean, what was dirty. There was no risk of things sort of getting, you know, mixed up or contaminated with each other. So if you don't have those and are planning on going on a trip, I highly recommend checking those out. If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me Reach out to me Another thing that is making it much easier to put things away is if you already have it organized beforehand. So because I had my things organized in the bathroom, in a, I knew where everything went. It was just easier to unpack because I knew exactly where to put it back in. So I know that I did the same thing with pantry and it's just made the world of the difference versus previous years when things were just kind of thrown into the pantry or into the bathroom cabinet. And it, I just didn't feel as motivated to put things away. And it definitely did not go as quickly as it did this time around. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for more videos about house and time management of a working mom. Say something be something I don't know. I want to know you better. The way that you talk to me, the way that you... So my system for unpacking, if you can call it a system, is basically to utilize my kitchen island to unpack one kind of piece of luggage at a time. Obviously, the big one, the big luggage, I just did it on the floor. But anything smaller or things, even from that big luggage, like, you know, all the toiletries, all that goes on the kitchen island. And then I just find it easier to just clear it off, 
And once that is clear, I move on to the next bag. So let me know if that's something that you use as well, or if you use something else to just help you speed things along as you are unpacking. Make me feel I don't know if you're real. I want to put you in that spotlight. Looking at you all night. Put you in that spotlight. Oh, you. And as I was unpacking, our mailman brought us all the mail from the past week when we were gone. So I wanted to kind of quickly just look through it. And I think part of me was right here a bit procrastinating because I really didn't need to look through all the inserts from the store, but I also needed to get that out of the way as well. You know that I'm a keep it cool with you. I feel like breaking rules on the edge looking out with no parachute. You know, I'm dreaming about us too. So clearly when you go on a road trip, you have loads and loads of snacks to unpack, to put away and all that fun stuff. So I had, you saw the big cooler, I had the small one and there was another bag that's coming up for like extra things because we were staying um, in a room where we had access to the kitchen. So there was just a lot of food to unpack. I definitely tend to overpack when it comes to like food and snack, but I definitely don't mind that. I rather bring things back than try to kind of struggle because we you know we don't have enough snacks in the car and kids are complaining or things like that. So I definitely am on the side of overpacking when it comes to food. And this, like I mentioned, made it super easy for me to put things away. And you're gonna notice this is when I decided that I actually need to label my um, containers because I did not notice that I have popcorn in the other one. So I had to put things back into the bag. So this was definitely something I was doing. Um, I think a few days after we came back, I was labeling the other containers with basically what it has. Even though you could clearly see the snack, I noticed that once the container is empty, I cannot tell what is supposed to go back in there, which was the case when we came back because all of, most of them were empty. So that's why I was kind of laughing about the popcorn thing, but it definitely made me rethink my strategy that you know I still need labels even though I can clearly see what's inside. A million people in the crowd, but I only See your face in all the lights And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby I really want to make you mine I don't really care about love I don't really care about happy ever afters Something about you gives me hope Something And definitely the biggest thing that is helping me get back into the swing of things is having a day or even two extra days like it was in this case because we came back actually we were had three days because we came back on thursday night and i had three more days before i had to go back to work that way i had that time to unpack to kind of get things together before i had to go back to work i found that it makes a world of a difference because otherwise I get back from vacation and I have to go back to work the next day. And right away, instead of feeling relaxed when I go back, I'm already stressed because I have to hurry up with unpacking, hurry up with, you know, checking all the emails, the thousands of emails I get when I'm away. 
And if I have those few days to kind of help me get back into the swing of things, it just makes a huge difference for me. And of course, we have to bring some souvenirs. So my daughter and I opted for some puzzles because we cannot find good puzzles anywhere lately. And just a few like home decors. We visited a Christmas store. So my kids got some uh, beautiful ornaments for the Christmas tree. My daughter picked one for, with dancing. My son picked one with whitewater rafting because that is one of the activities we did. I did get a little nativity scene because I don't have one and I was looking for something so I, th I think that's gonna be perfect decor for Christmas and my daughter made me buy her that pillow but because it was five bucks I decided to to buy it for her just some snacks my husband wanted some um, I think it was like a gem with moonshine and he tried it and he did not like it which I told him he won't <laughs> oh, I told him to get a smaller jar but he said it made more sense to get the more expensive one because it you know it was cheaper if you will per per ounce of product but it made me laugh when he tried it he's like yeah i don't, I don't really like it <laughs> um so i don't know if your husbands are like that as well when they don't listen to you with things like that but maybe one day they will learn that the wife is always right right <laughs> And the next thing was unpacking kids' backpacks. As you saw me, if you saw that previous video when I was packing, they had some activities, some you know coloring things, just your typical things you take for a road trip. If you are going for a road trip, I did show in my previous videos the different types of like car games I got for them. So definitely check that out. I um, I'm gonna link them again in this video. But if you want to see what they look like, just check that video out. They used all of them and they are super fun and something that you can definitely reuse for other road trips or even in a house when you are bored, you can always pull it out and give that to them as a form of entertainment. And clearly they had lots of other things as well. So I usually try to put them in piles so I can carry them to their appropriate spot as I go, it makes it a little bit more efficient that way. And this is definitely when I saw the difference, how easy it is to put things away when things are organized versus when they are not. Because the playroom and the cabinet that was holding all those things I am putting away needed a little bit of a revamping and was not as organized as I would like. And it definitely made it harder and just less motivational for me to put away so that was something i was tackling i think the following week just cleaning up all that stuff for them so we are ready for back to school which is for us starting next week as i am recording this video I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't... So once I had everything unpacked, I wanted to just wipe down the kitchen island so I can start with the next task, which was folding the laundry. And there was a lot of it. I think it was like four or five loads that I had to do. So... Yeah, not my favorite thing to do, but it really had to be done because we were running out of clothes to wear. Cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta work real hard. I know you want it to be easy, so let your guard down. And I said, see it in your mind, trust that. 
But before that, I definitely took a break, had a little treat and a cup of coffee, which was much, much needed. So as you can see, I had like two full baskets of laundry and I think there was another one coming up in a few minutes. So I needed to kind of find the best and the quickest way to put things away. So I typically what I do is ju I just put, you know, things that are going into like drawers and dressers. I fold them, I kind of pile them up, you know, wh whatever belongs to a person is on one pile. Um, I sorted by the type of clothing. So I would have in you know, one pile for David's pajamas, David's, you know, shorts, David's socks, things like that. Same thing for Emilia and myself. And my husband does his own laundry. That's why he doesn't get a pile on the kitchen island. And I typically just put on the back of the chair anything that needs to be hang on a hanger. But because I had so many clothes, I basically used three chairs, one for each of us. So then when I went upstairs to put it away, it was easier because I didn't have to sort through that pile of clothes again. So I think it's something I will have to do from now on because it definitely made it easier when it came to putting clothes away. And as you know, putting clothes away is not my strongest suit. So anything that helps me make it go quicker is definitely something I need to do. So another thing I was doing that day was a little bit of a food prep. Then that particular day I was cooking some chicken soup. It's one of the soups that my kids like to eat. So I will typically cook a giant pot of it and then we eat it for the next couple of days and the rest I put in small containers and I freeze it up. So that way I can just pull it out whenever my kids ask for that to have for lunch or dinner. Why don't we say that it's too late for us now? Why do we stay when I blame you for the things that weigh me down? My daughter really needed to help that day so I just told her to put all the cut up veggies into a bowl so then I have it ready to throw into the soup whenever we got to that point. And I'm hoping that the more she's helping with things in the kitchen, um, touching those vegetables, touching that fruit, that she is going to be a much less pickier <laughs> eater that she's gonna start trying out more foods because that is definitely a struggle for me. And the next thing I was doing is I got some more containers for my pantry. I did some organization a few weeks ago and when I was doing all the snacks and I noticed that I still have on like the top part of pantry, I have a lot of like flour and different like things for baking that I wanted to organize. So that's why I got some extra ones. And it's not going to be in this video when I am actually putting things in them. I did not make it that day to do that, I, but I at least wanted to 
take them out of the bags, wash them and have them ready for the day when I was going to be organizing the, that top portion of my pantry. And it's funny how for me, the more I organize things, the more I crave to do more organization throughout the house. So I have been on this kick for the past few months now and every time I organize one portion of the kitchen or another room I immediately find something else that I want to reorganize and make more functional so I don't know if you are the same way but I definitely am and I have a lot of projects on my list to reorganize and to make more functional that are going to be coming up so definitely stay tuned for that say something meaningful say something I It is definitely great to see that progress when everything is washed, ready to be dried. My soup is cooking, the veggies are still not yet ready to be thrown in. As you can see, it's a giant pot. But then it was time to start, you know, dusting and cleaning the floors in the living room. That's always the last thing that I do and it's just kind of like putting a cherry on the top where everything is kind of coming together and the house is finally looking clean. And let me know in the comments if vacuuming is something that you enjoy doing. For me, it's definitely something that I do like. I don't mind vacuuming at all. I don't vacuum as often as I probably should be. And there's two reasons for that. The first one is definitely the lack of time. But also the second one is, as you just saw, my daughter has her headphones on. They're not plugged into anything that time. None of my kids or my dog, they absolutely do not like the noise of the vacuum. So anytime I want to vacuum, they have to go either to another room or they have to put the headphones on. My dog is usually going crazy. So it's just one of those things. It's like I should vacuum more often, but it's just sometimes it's just not worth the hassle. So I don't do it probably as often as I should, but let me know if you enjoy vacuuming. But while I do enjoy vacuuming, I do not enjoy mopping the floor. I feel like it's such a labor-intensive task for me that it's just not something I want to do. So I have been thinking lately of getting like a steam mop because I think that would make it much easier for me to mop the floor. So it's, it's definitely something on my list to do some research on to make sure that it's going to be good on my hardwood floors. But it's definitely a great feeling when your floors are cleaned, when you don't have dust, you don't have clutter anywhere. There are still a few things here and there, obviously. I mean, we still live in the house, but it was a good feeling at the end of the day to, to have it cleaned, to have that soap cooked, 
And the last thing that I had to do was to put that laundry away. And I absolutely had to do it. There was no choice there. There was no procrastinating because there was just way too much of it for me and not to put it away. I want to put you in that spotlight. Looking at you all night. Put you in that spotlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you make me feel fine. want to look at you all night. And it's a bit hard to see, but on the right side of that closet, you see a little organizer for each day of the week. That is something I have bought a probably a month and a half ago for both of my kids and that is definitely something that they will be using as we are going to be back in school. This is going to make our mornings and evenings much smoother because they will be doing that on Sunday evenings. So they are ready for the whole week. They have clothes picked up, especially for my daughter who tends to take forever to decide what she wants to wear. So even we typically do it in the evenings, but sometimes it's just still after a long day and she's just dragging her feet and trying to decide and it's just taking forever. So I thought it would be a good idea to make that change for the upcoming school year to have everything ready for the whole week. So let me know if you're using the same system or you just pick clothes each day. But that is all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some motivation to tackle your own to-do list, to get your house cleaned and organized. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. I'll sing until my lungs give out your beauty.